everyone. I thought I would film a what's in my office makeup bag video today. Although I realize the irony of filming this right now because I am in a work from home situation as of last week due to the coronavirus. I'm not going to the office anymore. This used to be the bag that I kept there, but I brought all of my stuff home because we're expected to work from home for the foreseeable future. Um, but I have been meaning to film this, so I thought now would be the opportunity to talk about what's actually in this bag. So the bag itself is a Sephora Collection makeup bag. It was sent to me in PR several years ago when I used to be part of their PR mailouts. Um, and you'll notice that the letter R is on here. If you aren't aware, my real name is Rochelle, and I prefer to go by the nickname Shell, which is just C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And even though I go by Shell, uh, which starts with a C, I only ever think of my name as starting with an R, so that's why I always get everything branded R, even though most people don't call me Rochelle, because I prefer Shell. All right, diving straight into the bag. This is going to be kind of interesting, because honestly, I don't really use that many makeup products when I'm at work. These are mostly in here for like emergency reasons. So diving right in, I've got the Sephora Collection blotting papers in cooling mint. That's funny, I never knew that they were a particular kind and they definitely don't feel that cooling. Uh, blotting papers are really handy for me when I'm wearing a foundation that won't especially last throughout the whole day without making me a little bit oily. There are a hundred sheets in here but I've probably had it in this thing for like three years and I've still got plenty left. I don't go through them that often but they're handy to have in case I end up looking like a total oil slick. I have a mini mirror in here. This is from Real Techniques. I'm sure it was part of some sort of brush set that I would have bought. Um, and I don't honestly have a lot of mini mirrors, so this was really handy for the office. I have a lipstick in here. I wasn't expecting this one to be in here. This is the Too Faced, um, what are these ones called? Peach Kiss Lipstick in the shade Bridezilla. I must have put that in there recently, but I don't really remember. This is a lovely dusty pink shade. I'm not very drawn towards pale, medium pinks. I much prefer something more like a neon pink, but this is really flattering on the lips. Uh, again, it's called Bridezilla. I do pair it with a lot of um, bright eyeshadow looks and I think it looks really good, but I need to put that back in my makeup collection because it does not belong in here. I have a brow pencil in here for emergencies and actually, you know, I think I saw another one. Yeah, two brow pencils. <laughs> So one is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in the shade 205 Blonde. It has a spoolie on one end, which is very helpful, and then just a regular pencil on the other end. I have had some mishaps at work where part of my eyebrow goes missing. These are almost completely drawn on, by the way, so I don't have much brow hair to begin with. And every now and then I will occasionally scratch my face and I'll actually like slice off a little bit of my brow at the same time. Um, so having a brow pencil at work is very helpful. And the other one I have in here is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Perfector. Now I really like the regular brow power and I use that one all the time. Um, I'm not actually sure why this one is in here because I don't ever remember reaching for this one, but uh, I think it's the shade, yeah, Universal Taupe, which is like the perfect brow shade for a lot of people. And so there's a pencil on one end and then a spoolie on the other. Um, again, they're really just there for emergency purposes when I accidentally wipe off my eyebrows at the office. Ah, an absolute essential. I always keep a MAC Prep and Prime for lips in my makeup bag. I keep one at home and I keep one at the office and it is absolutely vital for me. I'm almost done this one. It will not twist up anymore. I go through these regularly because they're the only thing that keeps my lipstick in place. I suffer from horrific lip line bleed out um, when I'm wearing any kind of lipstick. So this is the only thing that will keep it intact and prevent it from like seeping outside of my lip line. I hate that look. I've tried lip liner, liner, I've tried powder, I've tried all kinds of different things and none of them worked but the MAC one. So I always have this on hand. I've gone through probably more than 10 tubes of this and it is an absolute holy grail product. And I keep it in my makeup bag at the office because I always bring my lipstick of the day to the office and I'll put it on in the afternoon after I've had lunch and I always have to put this on before I put lipstick on. I have a concealer in here, but have you ever really seen me put on concealer? Like it's in none of my tutorials. I just don't wear concealer. This is in here for like, like, I don't know, if something massively goes wrong with my face in a day and I need to cover something up. This is the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer and I think I have the shade uh, Deep Ivory. 
I really like the Mary Kay concealers. I don't wear concealer very frequently, but when I did try this out for a blog post review that I must have done several years ago now, this stuff was actually pretty good. It didn't make my um, uh, skin look too crepey, which is vital because most concealer makes me look fairly crepey, especially in the under eye area. And this one seemed to be really good. So I kept it, or I keep it in my makeup bag, but I don't think I've actually used it since I put it in there a few years ago. I have another concealer in here. What the heck is with the concealers in here? Okay, this is really old, and I do not think that they've made this concealer in half a decade. Man, this is just gross, right? Like, ugh. Everyone's gonna be like, man, you keep nasty products in your makeup bag. So this is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer. I have the shade 210. I probably bought this 10 years ago. It's still relatively creamy, and I actually have used this on some occasions where my foundation is kind of worn off in a particular area of my face. Um, smells just fine, performs just fine. I've used a surprising amount of this. There's like a huge dip in here, and I can actually see the bottom of the pan. Uh, or the pot really. Uh, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it uh, if it was still available because it can be a little bit thick at times um, but honestly this would work in place of foundation for sure. I have a nail file in here that is so handy. The number of times that I've had to like fix a broken nail at work. <laughs> Having a nail file is absolutely vital. Uh, I have a mini Marc Jacobs highlighter gel crayon in blacker here. I honestly can't think of a time that I've ever used this either. I keep it in there because a uh, black um, liner can be a lifesaver at times, especially if I've worn it on my lower waterline, which to be honest doesn't happen that often at the office. But if it should happen to wear off a little bit in that area, it doesn't look good. So I like being able to have a backup to fix that sort of area if I need it. And on that same note, I've got a liquid liner in here. This is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner, which is a pen style brush tip applicator, which is my favorite kind of liquid liner for winged liner. Um, but I don't love this one as much as my Physician's Formula Eye Booster, so I keep this one at the office because it's fine in a pinch if I need to fix something happening with my wing or if I like teared up a little bit on my walk to work and I've got like a um, corner of the wing that kind of just like seeped away really or caused a mess so I can clean it up with this um, but I wouldn't keep one of my physician's formula ones at the office because I use those so frequently and they're so good that I don't really want to keep it unused in my makeup bag at work if that makes any sense so anyway I know a lot of people rave about the Jessie's Girl one but for me I just didn't find it to be as good as the physician's formula one so it's good as a backup but I would I would never repurchase this one I have a mascara tube in here <laughs> This is a mini of the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And I know that you're supposed to dump your mascara out after three months. I do that with my full-size tubes at home. But this is very old. Very old. We're not even talking like six months, a year. We're talking multiple years old. Um, but I don't actually reach for it that often. Maybe I should just chuck it. Honestly, you know what? I'm gonna throw this one out because in a pinch if my mascara wears off I can use a liquid liner to fill in the gaps if need be and this thing is Very old. Okay, it's going straight in the garbage. I have a lip brush in here. This is the Sephora collection um, Just lip brush. This one is the best lip brush that I have ever used uh, It comes with a top and then you've just got a very precise um, lip brush here. And there's something just about the flex and the shape of this particular brush that make it the absolute best. I've tried a whole bunch of different ones uh, and I have to say the Sephora Collection one is hands down the best and I, I keep that one at the office. I really do need a backup one for at home but I feel like I've got more brush options at home and even though they're not as good as that one, I would still rather have like the best one to use at the office as opposed to like faffing about with like different brushes that don't necessarily work that well when I just wanna get my lipstick on at the office. And if you're wondering why I use a lip brush, it's because I am just garbage at applying lipstick directly to my lips. I get a really bumpy edge where it like grabs onto certain skin particles on my face and the lip brush just really helps to smooth out that area. And I have tried lip scrubs and they don't seem to clean up that sort of like bumpy texture so a lip brush is my absolute savior in that respect. I have another black liner in here. Okay, uh, this is the Annabelle Skinny Gel Eyeliner. It's a micro point one. 
Um, I had no idea this was actually in here. It's very tiny. <laughs> um, I have no comment. I don't know why it's in here. I'll leave it there, but I don't remember putting it in there and I can't remember the last time I used it. Got a pair of tweezers, of course. Always handy. Nail file and tweezers are like the things I use the most at the office. Uh, okay, and now we're down to just a few lip products remaining. This one is a Paul and Joe holiday collection one. Uh, it's basically like a clear balm with glitter particles dispersed throughout and then a red center. So it kind of just gives you a little bit of a hint of color while looking still like shiny and kind of like you, um, you know, we're sucking on a lollipop or a popsicle or something like that. So that's pretty, but I don't, I don't love the smell of it. There's something kind of like old lady-esque about it that um, is not that appealing to me. So I wear it every now and then, but not that often. And then I have a lip oil in here from Clarins. This is the Instant Light Comfort Lip Oil, uh, and it's in the shade Honey Glam. I have gone through a full-size version of just Honey, which is pretty much the same color, but it doesn't have all the glitter particles dispersed throughout it. I do prefer the original Honey to this one, but this one is still really, really good. Uh, the Honey one, I just find the original Honey one is just a little bit more hydrating, so it feels a little bit better. This one's fun to use, um, and it is slightly hydrating, but I feel like the tiny shimmer glitter particles don't really aid in hydrating my lips, but it's a good standby in my makeup bag at work. I have a bite pencil here. This is the matte creme lip crayon in Glacé. Pretty sure I got it as a birthday gift uh, one year from Sephora. Still smells fine. It's been around for a while. It's not my favorite color, but I wanted to have something at the office that was a little bit more cool toned. Um, because occasionally I will wear more cool toned eyeshadow looks and then I'll forget to bring my lipstick and I just wanted to have an option in case that should happen. Another bite one in here. Uh, this should not be in my makeup bag. I probably brought it to work and forgot that I had it in there. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Toasted Cardamom, which is not a shade that I have reached for very much just because I find it a little bit bland, but I did wear it relatively recently. I can't remember what I wore it with, but I remember thinking that the combination worked really well together. Um, and honestly, Bite Beauty can do absolutely no wrong with their lipsticks. I love the formula of them. I know they're in the midst of reformulating them and they haven't released their next launch yet, but man, I cannot wait because they just, they just rock. Like they rock at doing lipsticks. There really aren't that many brands that really excel past them in the lipstick category. And my last item in here is a Too Faced La Creme lipstick in the shade Coral Fire. This is the one that's in my Project Pan for 2020, so I put it in my makeup bag for the office so that I would remember to use it. And I'm doing okay with this. This is how much is left of the lipstick, not that much. Um, but lipsticks take forever to use up. I know I've definitely used it about four times since I started the Project Pan sometime this year, or did I start in late 2019? I don't really remember. Um, and I've gotten some use out of it and it's been handy having it in this bag, but I can see from this that this is like at least 20 more uses out of this, if not more. So I really need to spend more quality time with this lipstick. But um, as I've said, with the coronavirus, I'm not really wearing much makeup anymore because I'm not going to the office. I'm not going to wear makeup to hang out at home because that just feels kind of pointless, I guess. I, I like being fresh faced at home. I don't want to wear makeup and be worried about like getting foundation on pillows or something like that. So yeah, my makeup consumption of my own products has definitely dropped significantly in the last week. So anyway, that was everything that lives in my makeup bag at the office. There were a few things I need to pull out and put back into my collection, but for the most part, those products are just like standby products in case my makeup should get screwed up while I'm at the office. Um, so yeah, I keep them in my little work backpack and they just live there. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you for joining me today and I will talk to you next time. Bye.